who put that giant block of blue there? Uh, that's me. I'm just, I was trying to make it the background because my eyes hurt, but <laughs> I can't send it to the back. Uh, Why can't I see it? I just deleted it. Hang on, mm -hmm. let me see if I can send it to the back. It's it's not that big a deal, it's fine. Oh, whoops. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a stream. Everything oh is God. awesome. Okay, and we're what? building uh, a table. I know how to fix this. Cause... Duct tape? Yes. And dreams. Because you said we're all very quiet. Uh, okay, hang on just a second, let me... Everyone, Thanks. prepare your screamings. <laughs> How's that, Danielle? Better, thank you. Okay. Okay, I don't know why, I had Danielle at exactly 69%. <laughs> yeah, you do! I don't know why that happened. Danielle, can you speak for me? This is me testing my voice. Okay, you sound less quiet better to me. Um, Everybody sounds quiet to me, but I don't know how. Yeah, I've got my headset turned up to like 40. I might I have been super quiet because I had my microphone away from my face while I was drinking. Is this any better? That is significantly yes. louder, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, sorry about that. Um, okay. Well, today... Oh, God. We are gathered here to continue our sad game of Mage Against the Machine, except it's not Mage Against the Machine, it is... Us exploring the aftermath of that game using the game Downtimes Are Just Times When You Are Down by our very own beloved Philo Hazard. Um, Who's probably asleep right now. Who should <laughs> hopefully be asleep right now, yeah. Um, shit. Uh, is this any better, Izzy? I am, like, the microphone is as close to my mouth as it's getting without being inside it. Eat it! No! Eat it! It's Eat unfortunately it. also picking up my breathing, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, can you maybe increase your output, output volume on Discord? Uh, well, it's on OBS, and mm. OBS looks like it's as high as it'll go. Hang on. Performance mode. What Ashlyn performance says you are mode? legible. <laughs> <laughs> it is adequate. Yeah, I don't know. I wish I knew how to boost this, cause yeah, it's. I, I wished I knew how know. to boost you. Yeah. Um, I'll just try to talk really loud. Um, just yell at us. Yeah, I'll just yell. I'll be like Brian. Um, <laughs> we I'm are house off it. for a reason. Uh, um, All right, okay. it's been helpful, guys. I'll. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Danielle, um, quick, change your name to something that starts with A fast. Danielle. <laughs> you don't get uh, it. <laughs> our, you don't get a D be... anymore. You're just Danielle now. Or we could be stream. Ad. We love math. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, anyway, so, yes, um, <laughs> oh, boy, I'm s flummoxed, um, anyway, I did, um, yeah, so we are going to be playing downtimes, or just times when you are down, by Philo dot hazard, um, <laughs> and uh, today we are the players, um, and I'm going to start at the top for introductions uh, at the top of the overlay. So Amber, please introduce yourself. Ah, uh, ah, uh, <laughs> great. Hello, 
I'm ever. <laughs> are you she, her pronouns? I'm totally not putting a table together right now. Oh my god, uh, are you still doing that? Shh, shh. I'm not doing anything, Anya. You cannot prove anything. Uh, but if I was, yeah, I would probably be doing like some kind of stalling technique uh, so that I could pull up information. <laughs> Maybe like a corner that's just for you. <laughs> yeah, weird how very specific this is. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I'm Amber. I use she, her pronouns. Uh, and uh, fuck, I forgot my character's name too. <laughs> I mean, we'll probably go into that later. Okay. Okay, fabulous. Uh, all right. So I'm Amber. Uh, and yeah. Uh, uh. If you've learned nothing today, learn that she's Amber. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all you need to know. You'll never find me. But if you want to try and find me, uh, you can search the Twitter far and wide. Or... You can listen to the games I play uh, on the podcasts that I am on, such as Roomware and also Hope's Heart. <laughs> <laughs> and both of those are followed by Pod at the end on Twitter. So Roomware Pod, Hope's Hearth Pod. <laughs> exactly. I have a whole corner in our Discord to tell me what I'm supposed to say, and I still fuck it up every oh, time. Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, bud. <laughs> I have a little moth playing bongos and everything. It's okay. Oh, Apparently, God. all of us are just weird because, like, my friend Jen was on Escafil Files, uh, and Jade and I do our intros, but we, we our outros, but we do each other's outros. And Jen was like, "Do you do you just like remember all of that?" <laughs> 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 and we were like, "Yeah." <laughs> 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 That's when you adjust your monocle and go, uh, you don't. Mm. <laughs> Look, Ashlyn in the chat chat says, "Imagine remembering things," and it's like, yeah, that's a fucking mood. Apparently, it's like... the only thing that can stick in my head because I can remember nothing else ever, <sighs> unless it's written down. I'm just head empty, no thoughts. <laughs> Elevator <laughs> music behind eyes, pretty much. 90% if not more of my day. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like the Wii Shop music um, <laughs> which is the ultimate No Thoughts Head Empty music in my opinion. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> No, you can't sing it. We don't want a DMCA strike. Oh um, no! And uh, also <laughs> joining us today you have heard the voice of Danielle. Hi, uh, I'm Danielle. I use she or their pronouns, and you can find me on the internet at redtailtalk90. Uh, you can also find me on Roomware Pod. Uh, also, the Escafil Files, which is at the at Escafil Files. Also on Dumb Kids Playing Hero, which is at DKPH Pod. Uh, both of those last two things are Animorphs things. If you couldn't guess by the title, then you probably uh, aren't necessarily the target audience, but you'd probably enjoy it anyway. Yeah. Do you like trauma? We've got trauma. <laughs> Do you like trauma? Yeah, you like trauma. Do you, <laughs> Do you like sadness? Yeah, you like sadness. Listen, if you're watching the stream, we know you like sadness. <laughs> Do you yeah. like angry burb? Do you ever just play the game purposefully so that you'll be sad? <laughs> we do. <laughs> Um, See also me trying to come up with happy shit when I just want everything to be sad all the time. <laughs> Um, also, you have heard the voice of my fiancé, Anya. Hey, I'm Anya. I use they, them pronouns, and you can find me on Dumb Kids Playing Hero. You can find me on Rumor Pod for the rest of the season, at least. And you can find me on Twitter at aka Anya. And I am August. I use the they, them pronouns. You can find me on Twitter at Harpydora. You can find me on Dumb Kids Playing Hero. You can also find me on Follow the Leader at FTLcast on Twitter. You probably already knew that. Um, so, last time on this game, we saved the world at the cost of our happy pasts. And... Yep. We emerge now into a future that has been saved, but where our lives are in ruins. 
and uh, we must reckon with that. And to do that, we are going to be playing Down Times, which is a game that's about what happens between adventures. Um, I don't know what's Nightbot complaining about. It did the same thing last time. Weird. Is Who's... Nightbot having an angry night? I guess. Um. So, uh, we did a lot of the downtimes uh, prep work before we did Mage Against the Machine. A lot of it had to do with building our lovely community that you see uh, on the screen right now. Um, and then destroying it. Well, oh. that's where we're at right now. <laughs> do How much of this has changed since, uh, since we did our world-saving thing? Should we talk about our characters, or I guess... I don't know. Do what you're going to do. I was figuring, because the last time we talked about the, the community and then we talked about our characters, I thought. Oh, okay. At least it's in that order in the document anyway. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think the Peacekeepers building is no longer covered by cameras. At least. How are you going to remove that layer? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh. Are the archivists a thing now? Good question. Because, like, the weird time anomalies. I don't know. I guess that goes hand in hand with August stuff about time anomalies. Yeah. I wasn't putting a table together on stream, but if I was and I theoretically had some, like, trash uh, from the packaging that it came in i would uh put that in the trash later after we finish streaming <laughs> um well i think that our our derelict clock tower is no longer derelict mm. uh i think it's just a clock tower in the square it's like a pretty legit clock tower drawing you did there mm -hmm. thanks Actually, it's going to be fancy. It's going to be a fancy clock tower. A flancy no. cock tower. No! <laughs> oh my god! Get your flancy talk. cock tower out of here. My flancy, to do to flancy, flancy cock tower. Mm -hmm. um, so, that's what happens when you can't talk. Uh, mm -hmm. Is you say silly things. So, um... And as far as the landmarks, uh, Danielle, you said that the government building no longer has uh, cameras all on the it. Cameras. Did you get rid of the peacekeepers? Like, do are they? I think so, because they were like a hyper military organization bent on controlling everybody using the AI so um, uh, I think the fountain um, is still there okay um I want like the weird building with the with the smells to still be there but it's like it, it's not as dilapidated now but it is still abandoned does it still smell uh maybe but Let not find out what happened <laughs> <laughs> but not the same smell that it was before Wow. Now it's just a fucking paper plant and it just smells like that. Oh god, please no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That that smell soaks into your soul. It do. I went to visit my dad the one time I was able to go to his house and he lives he lives 
right in front of the pa paper plant. And when I say right in front of the paper plant, I mean the gate ar or the fence around the paper plant is literally in his backyard. <laughs> that is butts. Yep. <laughs> I washed everything after I left his house, and it still smelt like it for a few days of washing. Okay. What about the, uh, um, the other place? The, uh, overgrown cave slash black hole? Is that still there? I mean, I think the overgrown cave is still there. I don't know if it's a black hole. <laughs> it's just this random black hole. Every day the city moves a little closer to this cave and no one knows why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so previously uh, we had said that um, people live kind of in various places around the settlement. Has any of that changed? Yeah. <laughs> I'm unemployed. I moved back home. Oh no! oh no! Where's back home? Can you put it on the map? I think it's uh, inconveniently out of the city, so I'm going to put it out here by the cave. Okay. Cool. And it's going to be... Sure, purple's great. I love the color purple. And it's going to be over here. And I need to text. There we go. Okay. This is great. I'm doing great. This is good audio right here. Hell yeah. Well, we have a video, too. Finger mm -hmm. guns. <laughs> Wait. Okay. I, I can't see it. Why is why is it not showing for me? That's weird. Or is it just out of my field of view? It might be out of your field of view. For, <laughs> okay. for listeners who may not be looking at the video, Anya just drew a purple circle next to the cave near the edge of town and just wrote, now I'm sad. That's yeah, I, I scrolled up and I no, saw that square. and I was God like... Damn it. God damn it. Do you like circles? Yeah, I like squares. <laughs> Dude, did you can't wait to get a mouthful. Yikes. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Um, Off to a great start, yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like I still live in a converted warehouse slash like cheap apartment uh -huh. seer lives in an efficiency uh that is attached to a local bar um and it, it's it's basically the equivalent of a tiny hotel room. Welcome to the Hotel like, California. Like a bathroom, a space for a bed, and maybe like one counter for a microwave and a coffee pot. And that's it. Oh, buddy. Such an angry bird. <laughs> See, we're not playing you can check out anytime you like, so. <laughs> Still an angry bird. <laughs> <laughs> Amber. Yes. Uh, so I think that uh, my character, whatever the fuck I named them, because I forgot their fucking name because I'm a garbage person. Addie. Uh, oh, yeah, because I had, right, right. Okay. Anyways, uh, she moved. Can someone with better hand coordination? Uh uh, fix the abandoned building smells strange, yo. It, it still smells, but it smells pleasant now. <laughs> and she lives there. <laughs> Jesus. With how There's many cats? Hey, I said it hey. smells pleasant. I didn't say it smelled like cat urine. <laughs> I, I didn't say I was a cat lady. <laughs> you, I think you did, though, at the end of last stream. Did I? 
You said you were gonna die alone with your cats. <laughs> that that's the real me, not Addy. <laughs> Oh my god, Amber. I mean, <laughs> unless you guys want to keep me forever. <laughs> just be sure to clean uh, just be sure to clean my my area and make sure I'm fed and watered every day. I'll talk chat at 40. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not even sorry. All right, and uh, has like our town square changed? Uh, other than the clock tower now being fancy, I think it's nicer. Like if if this were a movie, we're no longer using a grunge filter. We're using like uh, fucking what's the filter on Instagram? Um, Retro Lux. Maybe. Uh, whatever. Well, basically, we've increased the saturation by a factor of like a hundred mm. uh, and uh, increased the brightness of everything, too. Also, like a farmer's market yeah. type situation. Mm hmm. Do we want to. With add dogs. That? Adorable dogs everywhere. I think that might be in the park. Is like, that like the difference between like a cat cafe, but it's a dog cafe? <laughs> you go and good boys out. give you hugs. Oh my god, can there be a cat cafe there? <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> We're suffering. This town might as well <laughs> thrive. Uh, well, that's the whole point is we, we gave we up saved everything. We them. Good. Yeah. This is the origination of Hope's Hearth, but nobody knows it. <laughs> um, and we were gonna... Were we putting the dog cafe uh, on the square or near the fountain? <gasps> Are we having a dog and a cat cafe? <laughs> yes. Wait, why did I... Well, okay, but where, which, where are they going? I think there's a dog park... Uh, here. Use this part of the fountain so that the dogs can play in the water. Okay. Is the cat cafe near Sparbucks? Yes. The cat cafe is Sparbucks. <laughs> you just God. fight with the cats. <laughs> that's how that's how you get your, your coffee in the morning. Is you have to battle cats <laughs> in order to successfully get your drink, but at the end the cats just knock it off the counter, anyways. <laughs> Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Cool. Has so any... is there a dog cafe as well, or just a dog park? I like dog park cat cafe. Yeah. Yeah. There are probably vendors around the dog park that you can, like, go and get food and then go inside and pet all the good boys. You can get pup cups! <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a little, like, stand there near the dog park called Happy Tails. Oh my god. <laughs> Love it. So, our factions, um, so, Danielle, you said that the Peacekeepers don't exist anymore. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, I think that, I think that, uh, Ethan Nyland probably still exists, and I still want this to be some kind of shitty group. Um, maybe it is... Oh god. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh Danielle. Wait, Will you wait, share I know. with the class? 
<laughs> yeah, I know you're writing something, but I can't see where it is because my mouse is giving me trouble yeah. at the moment. Uh, so I just changed the title from The Peacekeepers to The HOA. Uh, <laughs> the goal is to enforce the rule of law and order in the community. Oh my okay. god. That makes me feel so good because the suggestion <laughs> that I was about to give is like, what if they're all just like meter managers now? <laughs> Like, they're just waiting the second that the meter runs out of time. They're just like, tick it! God. Yep. <laughs> uh, they now gather... <sighs> they probably gather at the library? They probably oh, rent out some kind of room to have their meetings in. <laughs> Oh, God, I know them. <laughs> see, <Yep. laughs> see, also, Neighborhood Watch type scenario from mm -hmm. WandaVision, maybe? Mm hmm I love that. It's just an excuse for them to all sit down and eat. <laughs> I may or may not be bitter about my neighbors this week. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's totally legitimate. Also, I'm sorry I fucked up the word, Doc. <laughs> for a second, I'll fix that. Let me just... And it's gone. Oh, I didn't mean to change the original shit. That's okay. I'm changing the original because it's easier to... Okay. I don't understand why... Is there more hair in it? Taco, how did you get so much hair in my freaking... Mine's still going to be shitty, too, and the my person of interest is still going to be the same, but I'm just doing the county government, which is ostensibly maintaining infrastructure, but it's mostly wanting to bring more commerce into the area, a.k.a. gentrification. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I don't think the archivists exist in the same form. Mm -hmm. I think they're... Just regular archivist. Where do they gather? I think maybe they gather at the clock tower still, and the clock tower is actually just the town hall or the mm -hmm. the county seat. Mm hmm. But uh, Millennium Mark is still the county commissioner, like he was uh, before we fixed time. So. Yeah, Izzy, we saved the world, but now it's gentrified. It, we, we saved the world at the, the risk to our own personal existence, and... Like, gentrification is just another shitty thing that can happen. <laughs> oh gosh, Philo! Philo, Philo, why are you awake? Go to sleep! <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why Nightbot... I don't I don't know. It didn't let me glow for some reason, which is really silly. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. It is a Friday, so at least there's that. Yes. There we go. I believe I have fixed my mouse issue now that I've pulled out the hundreds of thousands of hairs that Taco somehow shoved into my mouth. Ah. Good times. Well, you haven't missed much, Philo. We're still uh, just resetting up the... the... That is so cursed, August. I know. We're resetting up <laughs> the locations uh, and the uh, factions. Yeah, I mean, it's it's midnight 30 there. Uh, but we haven't we haven't dug into any 
Yeah, we haven't started playing playing yet. Uh, we were just uh, painting a picture of the saved world with us being sadder and with uh, things being more gentrified because we're sad and gentrification is also sad. So... Mm -hmm. I applied a gain filter to myself, and it still sucks. Uh, one day I'll figure this out. Um, Alright, so do we want to, now that we've got our, uh, our town uh, restructured, do we want to reintroduce our characters with uh, our playbooks and read... Uh, the information about our playbooks for everybody. Yeah. Yep. That's cool. I gotta scroll back up to the playbook so I can read the little. If you have the outline. Oh, wait. You said playbooks. Yeah. Uh, I do have the the, the outline. outline. The outline is great. Mm -hmm. We should also probably do like a character refresher. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Who's first? Uh, you are. Okay. Uh, so I am still playing Seer Darkfeather, who uses he, him pronouns. He looks like a Cooper Sock, but make it a person. He's very small, and he's fast, and he's fighty. Uh, he was a revolutionary who was kind of sort of not really in hiding with his daughter, um, but his daughter doesn't exist anymore. So mostly he's just sad. <laughs> um, he currently lives in the like in a in an efficiency that's attached to a bar that he is the bodyguard or bouncer for. Um, Jesus Christ. Yep. Uh, and his playbook is the Madcap. You're usually so close to being burnt in downtime; it's hard to step back from the flames. My vice is danger, and I can be found in tavern brawls. Uh, my moves, because they're, they aren't too long, I feel like we should read them. Yeah. Uh, my moves are to understand what leads someone to take risks, to be aware of where the community is overstretched, to coax another to make a rash or unwise decision, and to lead a foolhardy expedition. I take XP when I am provided an opportunity to relax and fail to. When I <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm going to get so much XP, guys. Uh, no. When I put distance between myself and another by speaking without thinking uh, and by revealing the extent of my dealings without the rest of the party around. Danielle's uh, experience is uh, rigged. <laughs> <laughs> This is like giving Seshmir experience for being snarky. Jesus <laughs> An experience for uh, being irresponsible. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Dante ignores all of his problems, but levels up 12 times. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> All right, uh, Anya. Yeah, hey, uh oh. <laughs> That's okay, hi. <laughs> I'm playing Twyla Starling, uh, pronouns are she, they. Um, look is still the same, still young, baggy, loose clothing, blue puffy hair, shaved sides, occult memorabilia, and general aesthetic. Um, they were previously uh, an archivist at the secret library group, uh, helping to manage the weird goings on around town. But uh, since that didn't actually happen, uh, now they're taken for a liar and an exaggerator, exaggerative person. I don't know that. Uh, and they. Yeah, they were unable to find work, so they had to move back home, uh, minus one sibling who 
died regardless of what happened. And uh, so, yeah, they're going to be playing the gossip. And um, through some knack, mechanism, or divine wisdom, you know things you shouldn't. My insight is furtive, arcane, insidious, happenstance, and hearsay. I can be found in a local watering hole, in a garden, in a very public space somewhere you have no right to be. Um, my moves are understand the nature of a relationship between two characters you've encountered, be aware of an underlying power struggle or a scandal in the community, have overheard a conversation you shouldn't have once per downtime, and also once per downtime spend social credit to get leverage on a character, ask an outlandish favor, or gain access to another's connections or assets. I take, it, I take XP when I put my nose where it doesn't belong, act to make things as I believe they should be, and leave myself vulnerable by revealing what I'm aware of. Nice, nice. Amber. Yes, yes I am Amber. Uh, I am playing Addie, or Ad, a uh, lone caster, uses she, her pronouns. Uh... And I am doing the Crawford playbook, which is right here in front of me. I totally had this ready. Uh, uh, so uh, the Crawford uh, learn and cultivate. Uh, you grow green things in barren places. You harvest. Your harvest is nourishing, intoxicating, potent shelter. Uh, you can be found in fields, catacombs, uh, the treetops, happy and well-fed. Uh, and my moves are uh, understand whose fields uh, lie fallow and why. Uh, I guess I said that right. I don't know. I could have. <laughs> uh, be... Yay! Words are hard. Uh, be aware of how the community grows and what is uh, what it needs to grow heart heartier uh make time with a character once per down time to sow seeds state a memory you share in a crop you plant uh once per down time celebrate a harvest with a group in your community after your carousing uh, name a member of the group you've grown closer to and another you're now an uh, antagonistic with. I love that your playbook is so cute and the rest of us are over here like, I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I read it and I was like, I was just like, what if I'm just a creepy old plant lady? Jesus. Oh my god. I can just... <laughs> I traded cats for plants in this scenario, Anya. <laughs> oh, okay, my bad. Lord... <laughs> Although now that there's a cat cafe. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor Tana Los you, you could make cat plants. We're magical. You can turn cats into plants or plants into cats. Well, is that still a thing, though? Because remember uh, when we played last time, the source of Ad's power oh, was that plant. That's right. <laughs> she doesn't have magic anymore. <laughs> that's right. Shit. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> cool. Cool and good. Um, so I will be playing Marnie Sands. Um, she uses she her pronouns. Uh she's kind of middling height, around five seven ish, with an olive complexion, bright blue hair with neon tips, and uh she wears uh maybe not robes now that we've come back, but she wears things that look like they're cut for somebody who's about uh, two inches taller than she is. Uh, nothing she owns fits right. Um, and uh, she lives in a flat in a reclaimed industrial building that she shares with sev several other people still. Um, in her previous life, she had a pretty nice job all things considered it was her first choice like right out of school now she's like third uh you know kind of like in a third rate uh sort of research position um and uh yeah she's just kind of scraping by um and i have chosen for her playbook to use the savant uh, test, succeed, fail, if nothing else, you'll know better for next time. Um, and uh, 
she seeks knowledge uh, for progress, and uh, she can be found uh, cleaning up an experiment gone awry. Um, her moves are understand some forbidden or hidden knowledge the wider community does not, be aware of how your work could contribute to the community, embark on a research expedition once per downtime, take a character or pair of characters as company, explain how your relationships are notably improved or deeply disrupted by the trip. Did you learn anything new? Uh, your work grows frustrating or worse, stifling. Once per downtime, wildly change your research focus. Was there an incident that led to this realization? And uh, her XP triggers are uh, pay attention to the voices of the past over the present, denote yourself as the authority on a subject you know little about, and cast aside safe research procedure for the bleeding edge. Um, she well, got... that really was written for Marius, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember Philo mentioning that this playbook might have might might fit Marius very well. Um but Marnie's also gotten a little <laughs> a, a a little a little bit uh reckless in her own pursuits now that everything is sad. So uh we will see what happens. Um all right, now that we've got all that <laughs> uh, also i forgot to to name my triggers or well i say forgot i wasn't scrolled far enough down to realize i had them oh <laughs> yes name your your xp triggers oh. uh so uh mine is a set down roots you would sorely tear up uh put your faith in leaves and vines over meat and mortar uh and let your love for your garden put you at risk oh that's interesting <laughs> gardening but extreme <laughs> what if my garden were threatened once more <laughs> fucking addy just like no this is all i have left <laughs> please they won't let me in the cat cafe anymore <laughs> oh. oh buddy all right um now that we've got our community and we've got everybody uh, that we're playing, uh, we can get started. So um, at the start of a new round, uh, we describe how much time has passed since the last. And since this is the first round, uh, we uh, describe how long our characters have lived here, whether we're trusted or if we're a new presence in the so settlement. Um, I mean, I think we've already established that our characters are still still have lived here for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I don't know that any of us are particularly trusted at this point, basically, after everything that's gone on. Yeah, I don't think Seer yeah. isn't trusted. I think he hasn't gone on to build a lot of the relationships that he did. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, Twyla is not trusted. <laughs> Um, I think it, it's kind of, for Addie, it's, it's not so much, like, trusted, but, like, the, the plants that she grows where she is now, uh, I think she has some, like, medicinal stuff, and so there's some people that is, like, they'll come to her, but they're not really, like, we're friends, it's like, give me the medicine, I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. Here's your money, leave me alone, don't talk about this. <laughs> okay. And how long, do we want to say it's probably been, like, six months or so since we got back from saving the world? Yeah. That's yeah. That's a decent amount of time. Cool. Um, and is this a celebration day? Uh. For us, or for the community? For the for community. The it might it might be useful to have it be a celebration day just so that we can have something in the background that our characters are hitting up against okay um do y'all amber and anya have any objections to that no nope i'm totally cool with that all right um 
if the bulk of the table agrees, this turns downtime occurs on a celebration or festival day. Uh, what does the celebration commemorate? Uh... Hmm. What if it is... Like, what if the clock tower is, uh, like, was originally lit by, like, torchlight, uh, <laughs> and that was the first, like, major building of the town, so it's kind of like the foundry thing, but they call it, like, the, the torch lighting ceremony or something yeah, like, I like that. that. Yeah. Like, for that one night, the electricity is off, and it's just all torchlight from the clock tower. Mm hmm I love it. All right. Um, is the settlement decorated? How so? Um, it sounds like we turn off electricity and everything's lit by the torchlight from the clock tower. Or candles, <laughs> maybe? Yeah, I started to say, yeah, the t uh, mostly the clock tower, but I think also people, like especially people further out from the clock tower, probably use candlelight, but it's just kind of like a, like, turn off your electricity, you heathens. Yeah. <laughs> Get back uh, to your roots. Luminaries on the walkways. Yeah. yeah. And like string lights and trees and stuff. Because you can't actually put candles in trees. That'd be bad. But... Yeah. <laughs> Unless some kind of magic candles. Mm. Hey, Taco. Uh, please excuse me, stream, while I- Oh, okay, I don't have to yell at you, you're already in here, cool. Sorry for the cat-based interruption. <laughs> cat on cat, catitude. <laughs> yep. Um, cool. Uh, what preparations or customs do the community partake in? It sounds like we talked about that uh already and do the festivities vary between the factions in our community how so um this sounds like it's right up the hoa's alley i bet the yeah. hoa mm. is super into um, yeah they have like a competition and everything yeah and <laughs> fucking karen always spends exorbitant amounts of money on all of her decorations uh, fucking Karen. Yeah. I like also that like the thought of like after she's done, she goes around and if she sees anyone using electricity, like yells at them <laughs> and threatens to call the HOA on them. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I think the county government uh spends a fair amount of money as well, like doing up the clock tower itself because it's the 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 county seat. And, uh, you know, they, they try to bring in tourist money, so mm -hmm. um, they're also pretty jazzed about it. Also, <laughs> give random candy to kids, because why not? <laughs> Every mm -hmm. holiday must be giving candy to children. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which means the day after the holiday, the adults get to get discount candy. <laughs> Who's the real winner, Timmy? Jesus. <laughs> Everyone doing okay over there in that abandoned building? <laughs> <laughs> Send sour watermelon peeps. Oh, oh my god. god. All right, so I'm going to go read the rest of the round, and then because it's a celebration, it has uh, an extra bit of text for us to pay attention to. Um, so uh, players take turns role-playing scenes based off of their playbook moves. There's no set order for these scenes. By the time downtime, by the end of downtime, each player should have led two scenes and everyone must lead one scene before anyone can lead their second. So basically, we each get a turn before we start our second turns. Uh, players may involve other players within these scenes, either as player or non-player characters. Non-player characters may be characters in the community, friends of the party, or members of other factions. 
And once every player has led two scenes, go on an adventure. <laughs> um, and since and this to, is... <laughs> to respond to the Twitch chat, hell yeah, I'll fight a child. Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> <sighs> Especially if they have sour watermelon peeps, they don't need those. Oh they don't understand. God. They don't understand the joys of sour yet. They're children. Jesus Christ. Pack that, master that peep right out of there. Just walk over and find Ad pulling on a piece of candy while a child pulls back. Like, no, it's mine. No, what you do is you pack master the peeps and then you eat the child. Yeah. All right, and since this is a celebration for this downtime, the group may choose two of the next page's celebration moves. Uh, they may be used instead of your own playbook moves in this turn's scenes, and you may also satisfy the celebratory XP triggers outlined on the next page as opposed to your playbook's own. Uh, I like the celebratory meal and the dance. We always love a good dance. Exactly. Everyone, get your outfits ready. Yeah, I can't. I can't dance, but I can eat. Yeah, I like the idea of a celebratory meal. Like this festival day, maybe it falls on the six-month anniversary of when we saved the world. Exactly. Mm. Of course, it does. <laughs> So what you're saying is, everybody grab your celebratory tub of ice cream <laughs> and your celebration spoon. <laughs> Ow! Rude as fuck, little bit. <sighs> Cats. So, we... Who wants to do the first scene? Um, I feel like maybe Marnie is the most likely to organize the meal, so I'll have this be my my scene. Mm. Um, but uh, well, I I don't think we uh, because we can choose these two in addition to any other ones. Oh, by I thought they yeah, were substituted. Have to do only just the no, no, no. Okay. It's yeah. We can additionally choose. These. I think we should probably play out a little bit of the build up to the day, and maybe we can save the meal and the dance for the end. The end. That's good because I have to spend some time on shopgoodwill.com <laughs> looking for my party dress. <laughs> oh my god! Goodwill, you got just what I need. Okay. Let's see. Taco, no! I can't look at the screen if your butt is there. <laughs> All right, cool. Good good talk. Yeah? You want to say hi to the people? All right, cool. I think I want to use my move, understand some forbidden or hidden knowledge the wider community does not. Mm. Um, and I think that's largely we've kept hidden what we did mm -hmm. uh, because if it was already not particularly well received for people to mess around with the time stream it probably is even less so now that everybody's like not under the thumb of uh, really horrible AI systems. Um, don't want anybody going back and messing things up. So, I think this might actually be, um, hmm. Who does Marnie go to first? I think this is Marnie actually calling everybody together. Just, mm -hmm. or maybe just calling everybody just phone tree style and just being like, hey, you you probably already know, but it's it's been six months. Maybe we should get together. 
How well does everybody take that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking Twyla answers the phone, and you can hear like screaming children in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like, lots of them. And, like, just the camera sees her glance over her shoulder, like, you know what, I think that's a great idea. I could use a night out. Uh, I think Seer doesn't answer his phone because he's in the middle of something probably breaking up a fight. Uh, and then later at like closing time, so like 3 a.m., you get a text of just where and when. We text now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> How much of an old man does he text like now, though? Hmm. Uh... Uh -huh. I, there's well, just bird, like so. there's just like 50 peach emojis and like no. are a stream of a bunch of different emojis no seer doesn't use any emojis or emoticons darn winter did not teach seer how to <laughs> uh he doesn't use any punctuation uh and sends every line on a separate message Oh my god, that's even better. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks, I hate it. I just want, like, a seer version of, like, the Facebook post video <laughs> where the person is trying to, like, search for stuff for the price of something <laughs> from Walmart <laughs> and keeps putting it in a Facebook post. Hmm. I mean, like, he he understands what texting is, but I think he's extremely unused to it. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> How about add? Uh, I'm thinking it's like, uh, add doesn't pick up the phone. But we pan over to her <laughs> laying in, like, it's not really a bed. It's, like, a series of pillows with a sheet over it. Uh, and then she, she's face down plank style, uh, kind of, with her face on one of the pillows, hugging a plant in front of her. <laughs> uh, and the, the little thing, uh, <laughs> like, the beep of a really old uh, answering machine... <laughs> comes on and then your message plays <laughs> damn Gosh. I guess I guess Marnie should have expected this <laughs> <laughs> quick question how much have we talked since everything went down I don't know I mean, I don't think Twilight would have been against keeping in touch with anyone, mostly because she needs someone to be her friend. I think, uh, I think Seer keeps in touch because otherwise he would just go mad completely. Um, because he has to talk to people who remember. Okay. I, th I think probably add like not so much because she had a really bad time and she just kind of goes into isolation and seclusion. Of course she does. <sighs> Do -do -do. How, much does, how much does Marnie keep in touch with us? Um, probably pretty frequently. Um, I imagine that, like, she's got a shitty, like, second or third shift, uh, gig at a research, uh, research institution, so, like, does a lot of, like, overnight monitoring of 
magical experiments and stuff like that, so she probably actually texts Seer pretty frequently because he's up. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, she tries to keep in touch, but, uh, schedules make it hard, like maybe in the, uh, uh, mid mornings she tries to talk to, uh, Twy. Um, she calls Ad periodically, but Ad probably doesn't answer the phone, but that doesn't stop her from trying. Mm. Ad just answers the phone with, like, stop trying to steal my plants, kids! <laughs> <laughs> no, I think really it's like, uh, every time she gets a call, she never answers, but she plays the recording back several times after. Oh, oh buddy. Okay, well, I think that's... That constitutes my, uh, my move mm. uh, for the first set of moves, so... Um, I don't think I hit any of my XP triggers. Okay. Did anybody else hit their XP triggers? I don't think so. Uh, probably not. I was barely in that. Uh... Also, probably not, because my sad, isolated plant baby. Unless, unless you want to count putting your faith in leaves and vines over a meat and mortar, but I don't know. No, I don't know if that counts. Yeah, I don't think so yeah. either. Okay. Uh, do we have a group chat? Uh, probably. Okay. We yeah. have a group chat and Marnie still insists on calling people. Yeah. <laughs> like, this isn't just Marnie calling for an, a, a special occasion. She just still insists on calling people. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, so, where. Where do we meet up for this thing? Because I think that's where I want my scene to be. Uh, the town square is definitely going to be too crowded. Mm -hmm. But uh, the park might be less so because it's a bit further removed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh... Who shows up first? Is it Marnie? It's Marnie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel uh, like that should be. <laughs> but what time of day is it? Uh, it's definitely not going to be anywhere around noon because Marnie would be asleep. Maybe it's closer to like four ish, five ish. Mm hmm. Dinner time? Yeah. Uh, I think, I think, uh, see, Seer comes out of the, uh, crowd around the farmer's market, um, and he's holding, uh, like, two pints, um, and has a, has, a three small like wildflower bouquets stuffed under his arm um and uh he walks over to where marnie is waiting for everybody um hands her one of the pints and then hands her one of the bouquets uh, marnie like sniffs the bouquet 
and uh, then like just kind of like smiles at Seer and is just like, "Aw, thanks." Uh, he kind of shrugs one shoulder. Um, special occasion and everything, right? Marnie just kind of like takes a breath to as if she's going to respond and then just like stops and just kind of like quietly nods and is just like, yeah, special occasions. They're great. <laughs> Someone even called them special. <laughs> uh, when does Twyla show up? Maybe at that point, <laughs> Lake <laughs> says that and like sits down on the bench, like leg over <laughs> from behind. It's like, hey, Seer <laughs> hands them a bouquet. Hey, oh, this is the nicest thing I've had in a long time. <laughs> oh, 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 god, <laughs> <laughs> you, uh. You didn't get these from uh, Ad, did you? Uh, no, I haven't seen Ad in a hot minute. I think at that point <laughs> is is when Ad comes up, uh, and she's like in a hoodie with it pulled over, and she's just like, if it was from me, it wouldn't be dead. Oh. <laughs> wow. Marty makes a yikes emoji face. <laughs> nice to see you too, Ad. <laughs> I think Seer just kind of like does uh, fucking Christian Bale nodding at Kermit dot meme uh, <laughs> hands the, the third bouquet to Marnie. Marnie, like, sniffs it like she did the first one and <laughs> says in the exact same voice, Aw, thanks. <laughs> God, I love her. <laughs> She's such a fucking gremlin. <laughs> um, Marnie is the, ooh, a piece of candy. <laughs> <laughs> um, she, uh, like, holds, holds both of the bouquets in the crook of one arm and then like uh takes a swig of the pint um i forget did you say what kind of uh what kind of beverage was in the pint uh no i didn't so whatever you think it should be i have a thought mm-hmm. hello um Let me try and do this without injuring myself. Hi! Would you like... Yeah, okay. Would you like to leave? <laughs> Come back! Are you talking to us? <laughs> no, no, that was... I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm sorry. Artemis was in my room <laughs> under my bed, apparently. Our third when I cat closed the cameo. Door. <laughs> When I closed the door, she went to the door and looked at me like, free me, human. But then when I came near the door, she's like, I'll fucking cut you. (laughs) Just kidding. Oh my god. (sighs) Joy. Um. No. (laughs) None of that was- none of that was in character. All of that was directed at Artemis. (laughs) Okay, I was just real confused. So, so- does does the bar specialize in beer brewed out of stone? I mean, sure it does. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's like quartz beer. Oh my god! So it's like I imagine it's a very very blonde beer that has a low alcohol content. Mm-hmm. So, but it's it's brewed out of quartz. Mm-hmm. Good. And only the bar owner knows how. Yep. Mm-hmm. Closely guarded secret. Hmm. Very much so. God, if we still need to do the fucking thing. Yes, you do. <laughs> I know what that thing is, and I, and I need it, like, burning. 
<laughs> um yeah, so Marnie takes a, a big swig of it and is just like So, uh good to see y'all. And she like pointedly <laughs> pointedly looks at, at Addie since Addie is a cryptid. <laughs> <laughs> my answering machine broke and my plants don't talk <laughs> is there any more alcohol please uh seer looks down at his drink and just hands it over without a word <laughs> addy is now going to drink all of that <laughs> very quickly <laughs> as soon as she's done uh marnie hands over her drink as well <laughs> repeat the previous process. Twyla has not given you her drink. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I picked out a spot over here for um, a picnic blanket and she gestures to a kind of you know nice grassy spot that's not too far from the dog park like you can still see the dog park but it's nice and flat um i wish i knew why nightbot was doing that i i don't know i'll have to look at it some other time well clearly the alias that you set <laughs> doesn't exist <laughs> how dare you <laughs> I think Seer uh, kind of gestures everyone in front of him to go have a seat. Um, and I think that he tells everyone that he'll be right back and he goes back to the farmer's market. Um, and a little while later, he comes back with just like a handle of something. Um, of some kind of alcoholic beverage and just hands it over to Ad. Oh, Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Because oh uh, uh, I can understand what leads someone to take risks and I can also coax another to make a rash or unwise decision. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Uh, but he sit he sits down cross legged uh at like the edge of the blanket. Marty uh unpacks uh unpacks the meal which is mostly roast beef sandwiches uh <laughs> made with great care, but I think you mentioned Ad was vegetarian, right, Amber? Um, I can't remember if that was a thing I did or not. I don't remember either. I feel like it's something that you said, but I could be completely wrong because brains are a fuck. But... It might be, but I say it's probably going to be funnier if she is. <laughs> Yeah, so there's there's a couple of roast beef sandwiches and then like a bean sprout sandwich for Ad. Oh um, damn! I was like, what if it's just all roast beef sandwiches, and Ad just stares at you while you all eat? No, <laughs> stares in judgment. Marty's not gonna do that. Um, I know. Yeah, so Marty, Marty's sandwiches are liken unto the sandwiches a college uh, senior would make. Um, she's not that good at them, but they taste okay and have an appropriate amount of condiments on them. Mm -hmm. Bean sprouts and hummus. Did, did we know this was a picnic? Like, we all brought potluck, or? I would have thought that she would have said it was a picnic I would I would think that would have come up at mm -hmm. least 
So okay. if you want to have brought something, you can bring something, but uh, if you do not, then nothing. Yeah, surprise picnic. Okay. Uh, <laughs> plant parm for everybody. Uh, yeah, I know Twyla was going to pull out a like a fucking bowl of potato salad or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Seer brought uh, plates. Oh, bud. <laughs> oh, is Seer the person that always brings plates and like one fucking two liter? Uh huh. God damn it. What's the two liter? What's the drink? Please let it be off brand something. <laughs> Uh, no, it's, uh, well, it is cola. <laughs> wow, I love cola. <laughs> <laughs> you say, turning the, the label just so right and smiling into, <laughs> into the screen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nothing brings down six months of suffering quite as well as a nice cold glass of cola. <laughs> and then the theme song plays. <laughs> cola, cola, cola. Yes. Stop being miserable. Your family's all gone, but you have cola. <laughs> Everyone you love is gone. Drink cola. <laughs> <laughs> Twyla sipping some cola, like, yeah, their slogan oddly appeals to me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mood. <laughs> Mixes cola with whatever's in that to drink. This. Jesus Christ, Philo. <laughs> Philo. Philo in the chat adds, contains less meat than you'd expect. <laughs> wow, I expected this to contain a whole lot more meat. Thanks, cola. <laughs> Cola off brand is people. <laughs> oh my god. Um. <laughs> uh, oh my god. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that when Seer finishes eating, uh, he kind of leans back and spreads out his wings to, to sun them a little bit. Um, and one thing you notice is that they're not groomed. Uh, basically at all. Like, there are feathers missing and broken, and uh, his, they're clearly dirty. Because um, he doesn't take care of them anymore. <laughs> Why bother when nothing matters? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, fucking mood. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do, 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 do. Mm, excuse me, sorry. Uh, I think uh, that Ad's gonna notice and just be like, geez, like, uh, did, could you, like, like, Maybe not <laughs> look like. Oh God, <laughs> am I gonna stop you somehow? What do I have that can stop you? <laughs> well, like all of these pauses are included. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, that is also in character, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, you look rough, buddy. Again, I, Marnie makes the yikes face. I, I, I think uh, Ed is gonna like just pull like a, a her little like bag that she has with her, uh, and pull out some like random ass plant cream of some sort, and be like and hand it over to see her and just be like, can just just take care of yourself. Oh, we. we I get. God damn it, Philo. <laughs> My girlfriend turned into the moon! My girlfriend was a robot! <laughs> Anyways, uh. 
just just take care of yourself. I mean, we gave up a lot of shit already. At least, at least you deserve a little bit of a break. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sears just like looking blankly at her this whole time, uh, and. <laughs> Again, he's a bird of prey, so it is slightly frightening. Um, <laughs> scalped by a bird, because this is how you get scalped by a bird. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a mixture of, like, maybe Ed is a little bit uncomfortable, but also is like, listen, motherfucker, this is the best I've got at trying to be nice. Oh, buddy. <laughs> uh... Take my plant goo and put it on your injury. Oh my god. <laughs> um uh I think <sighs> I think I'm going to gain XP and put distance between myself and another by speaking without thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's going to look down at the plant cream and look back at Ad and say, some of us lost more than others. And now we fight. Get <laughs> <laughs> in character. <laughs> yeah. Marnie very loudly proclaims <laughs> as she's reaching into her basket. I brought dessert. <laughs> Seer looks at Marnie and immediately is like, thank you, that's very kind of you. <laughs> These cookies are delicious and compatible with everybody's digestive system. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they contain less meat than you would expect. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just the, like, Whole Foods of this universe logo. <laughs> just all of the Whole Foods brand shit. Yes. <laughs> contains less meat than you'd expect. <laughs> Which includes all of their, like, grass-fed beef. <laughs> Mostly grass. Wow, I can't believe it's not beef. Uh. Yep. 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 Um, I think that might be seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ad's just kind of like over there to the side, like, she doesn't say it, but she's like, quantity or quality, because either way, fuck you. <laughs> so, would you say that each character comes away at odds with one another? Yeah, at, at least Or drained from the has... encounter. Um, I, I think probably, uh, if there's an option of both, uh, <laughs> yes. Because I, okay. I definitely think <laughs> Addy is probably like, man, fucksy. <laughs> <laughs> but also, being social is tiring. Time to go water my plant. <laughs> You'll never hurt me, elephant ear. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, plants die, too. Yep. One of the plants dies at that exact moment. <laughs> Perfect. Turns out. Everyone goes to sleep hearing, no! <laughs> the plants are tied to your relationships. <laughs> no! I only had one plant! <laughs> No. <laughs> oh god. Uh I guess Anya or Amber, do you have a scene you would like to do? Um so we're is the idea to get towards the dance as like the end of all of our scenes or are we working up towards the meal and dance now? 
Uh, we got like half an hour. I think that we... Um, I don't know if we can do two scenes and then also the meal and the dance. I am fine with uh, my scene being one of those. Okay. What usually comes first in a fancy party, the meal or the dance? The meal. Like, yeah, when you're having a wedding, the meal comes first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I started to say, because I think usually the idea is you put food on and then you dance it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So I can do the meal. Okay. What does... What does this celebration meal look like? This is... It's funny, because we're just coming off of a celebratory meal that didn't <sighs> work very well um like what august said i guess that's where the the keen for times ahead content with their lot and at odds with another comes oh, from are there uh, like big banners depicting everything that happened to like remind us of that day oh <laughs> just like plastered <laughs> everywhere it's like here's the story as told by pictures brutal reminding pictures <laughs> sponsored by cola <laughs> is this like then like not necessarily just a celebratory meal but like there are all these vendors out and all we're out kind of quote unquote enjoying the sights of the the festival yeah i like that um, like a more road vendor style that's mm -hmm. cute Um, oh yeah, street food. So I think uh, Twyla is probably getting some kind of ridiculous food on a stick. <laughs> the most wonderful girl I ever shared a kebab with. <laughs> kebab. But yeah, uh, what's what's ridiculous to have on a stick? Uh... <laughs> um, I mean, deep just fried any... Anything from a Ren Fair, because they'll put anything on a stick. <gasps> Can it be a ridiculously large sized turkey leg? Because it makes no sense since it already has the bone that would yeah, make like... an appropriate <laughs> handle. The stick is bending and like. <laughs> yes. Like I'm just getting really greasy and like <laughs> walk up to probably like Marnie or someone looking miserable, just like, I don't recommend this. <laughs> uh, also, are we in our party attire now? Did everyone pick party attire? Uh, shit. You know what time it is, everybody. It's time for the down times fashion time. Or do we change? How does this work? Do we change into dresses during the dance? Or are we wandering the <laughs> streets in fancy dress clothes? <laughs> Hell yes, we all change at the dance, Sailor Moon style. <laughs> oh my god. God damn it. Okay, <laughs> and we can save the outfits for the next scene. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, Twyla walks up to Marnie, just like, appears by your side, covered in grease. Just like, I don't recommend this. Why is it on a stick? Marnie. <laughs> chewing on a fried a, a, an entire slice of fried cheesecake on a stick being on, <laughs> with with her mouth full what do you mean <laughs> Are you like covered in chocolate i'm covered in crumbs but oh sorry for some reason i was thinking it was like that chocolate dip cheesecake no no it's deep fried cheesecake ah so even worse ah <laughs> uh... What are we supposed to do with this thing, anyways? I mean, eat, drink, try not to be miserable. I think at this point, like, one of Twyla's siblings has, like, come up to her and is, like, now hanging on her arm. Just like, right, I'll get right on that. <laughs> and is, like, now tending to this child. <laughs> Mm. Gosh. Where where are other people? Did we run into Seer eat drinking and being merry? Uh 
I think Seer comes across Twyla. Um, he is like just wearing uh, the the equivalent of jeans, a t shirt, and a leather jacket. Um, and he's he's just walking around with like his hands in his pockets, and he sees Twyla with uh, their sibling, um, and kind of. It, it looks like he's debating whether to come over or not, but eventually, like, seems almost drawn towards the two of you. Mm. Um, and he he's just like, hey, Twyla, uh, who's this? Oh, this is my sibling who has a name, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a named child that I'm with. Uh... This is sibling number three. I've numbered them. A random name generator. <laughs> <laughs> Sparts <God>. McKenzie. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, this is Camilla. My my uh, what what are you, Camilla? Like the third youngest? <laughs> Uh, I th does she like hold up a number of fingers? Yeah, I think this child is like four or five, like to the age where they're like they're like babbling things but not talking coherently. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she like holds up uh, five fingers, uh, like smiles real big, uh, and um. Uh, Seer kind of smiles and introduces himself uh, and looks back at Twyla um, and says, so is like your whole family here or are you minding the little ones? I think they're all around here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> Can I add a little bit to this? Sure. I feel I feel like Camilla, like, steals the turkey leg on a stick from <laughs> you and, like, runs off to where your other siblings are and they begin to devour, devour it among each other. Oh my god. Yeah. Fucking, uh... Fucking Twyla just watching after, like, you know what, that's fine. You're gonna care less about getting greasy than I do, kid. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I missed it. Did you say that you, that she's here with uh, her parents, or? Uh, so in my head, I think the parents have passed away at this point, and uh, Twyla is taking care of her whole family. <laughs> I see. Uh, I think uh, Seer kind of looks at Twyla's expression uh, and looks back at the, the kids, um, and he kind of like touches her her elbow um <clears throat> and says hey why don't you uh go enjoy the festival i can keep an eye on them for you oh buddy <laughs> buddy yeah that'd be great <laughs> walks away openly mourning <laughs> well cause like fucking uh I know shit so I know why you wanna watch the kids uh -huh. yeah I'm sure it's not the first time that Seer has like called and been like hey do you need anyone to watch the kids tonight uh huh <laughs> why don't you go out for a night on the town and have like a, a spa day <laughs> what if you just left for the entire weekend and I just came over to your house to carry your kids for you <laughs> Twyla will smile and be like, "Yeah, but we can all like, why don't we all hang out together? They they love you, you know that." <laughs> uh, Seer, kind of, uh, it makes makes a. I want to say he rolls his eyes, but I know I've established that he can't roll his eyes because he's a fucking bird. Uh, so. <laughs> He does he does whatever gesture equivalent of rolling his eyes is. Um and says they just like 
they just like to climb on my back because I let them. Oh, I think at that point, like Twyla is like, kids, go on, Sears helping. And they're like, hey. And like this, maybe like one year old kid just comes up and like holds on to the tip of your wing. Oh, so, like you gotta hold hands. It's not safe to walk without holding hands. <laughs> okay, look both ways before crossing the street. Yep. Twyla just looking at you like, you do you want it? You can have it. Seer's <laughs> <laughs> so looking at Twyla like, don't tempt me. <laughs> I will steal this child. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and put like, I'll say there's like four kids. Mm -hmm. Since I haven't actually come up with a number of how many kids there are. Mm -hmm. Four seems and like, I, yeah, like a good number. I think the youngest is the one holding on to the tip of your mm -hmm. wing. Mm hmm Good. Good. Love it. <laughs> Uncle Sear is sad now. It's <laughs> my secret, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Climate free mountain. <laughs> Every <laughs> God. What are you up to, Ad? We have a lot of children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you find Ad at this festival or are you just I don't know, are you at included this included festival? In this, yeah, I want this... you to be included if you want to be included. Uh let me Hmm. I feel like Ad would be there because, again, their answering machine broke, so they're one way of having, like, the sound of another being of existence is gone. So until they get a replacement, they're like, I have to be around people. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Oh, I know what she could be doing. She's just like, uh, it, it's kind of one of those, like, uh old-timey movie tents but it's just like the around the screen is like kind of closed in so that you can see what's playing but it's like open air enough so that it gets good ventilation mm. is this kind of like a tarp over it and then like a little guard area around the screen so it one doesn't blow over and it two uh uh again you can see the screen without like exterior light fucking up the picture quality. Mm hmm Oh. Is that where we find you? Do you want us to find you? I I mean, yeah, if y'all want to. <laughs> I if mean, not, I feel like... If not, Ad's just gonna watch a really sad black and white movie with <laughs> with very bad sound quality. Now, that would probably be interesting for the kids. Just like, we're gonna come here because this will uh, preoccupy them and we can actually, like, talk. <laughs> Is Marnie there? <clears throat> Part of me wants Marnie to to be to find Ad with another like, hunk of cheesecake fried on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. Marnie just walked away while this was happening, comes back with another one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that. I, li I like the idea of uh, Marnie being the first one to find Ed. Like, incoming in five, four. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I feel like Ed would just be, like, staring blankly at the screen watching it and then see Marnie out of the side uh, of her, her peripherals turn to look and be like hey, hey oh my god is that half a cheesecake <laughs> I mean it had better be for how much I paid for it here <laughs> it's you offer prices <laughs> are you offering me the whole half of a cheesecake yeah I already ate mine oh my <laughs> god how are you not in a diabetic coma <laughs> uh, that's my secret. I'm always dead inside. 
<laughs> Barney shrugs and is just like, magic? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what that's like anymore. <laughs> that's not a sore subject at all. <laughs> yeah. I had to relearn how to boil pasta. <laughs> you boil pasta? Yes, that's what you do what when you don't you... have magic. <laughs> do you just eat it raw? What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, sometimes Our brothers I just always like... told me you could eat it raw. Sometimes <laughs> I just like the crunch, okay? Oh, God. Uh, uh... Twyla remembering why she never comes to your house for dinner. <laughs> And here we have the delicate, fresh <laughs> spaghetti nude. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> this isn't fresh. This is boxed. And it's not cooked. That's why it's yeah. fresh. Fresh would actually be softer than the box things. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to remind you that Marty lives with a bunch of other people who are all also probably gremlins. <laughs> Doritos and Mountain Dew for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I guess Ad's gonna take the half cheesecake and be like, thanks. How did they get it all to stay on one stick? Take one bite and find out. <laughs> <laughs> That's ominous. <laughs> Implying it falls apart. <laughs> Not that it's like glued together. <laughs> I do like the idea of Ad taking a very small bite of one of the corners and it just disintegrating onto <laughs> her. God. <laughs> As if my day couldn't get any better. Jesus. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. Well, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> this is me. I come mm. to this world so wild and free. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> so do we want to attempt to have a conversation in this uh, movie theater while children climb all over us here and everyone gives us dirty looks? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I feel like, honestly, like, when I pictured this, it was, like, uh, until, like, Marnie came in and then you guys later, uh, I, I think it was probably just, like, one old dude sitting in the very back, because my, my thought of this is, like, they're on, like, a grassed area with, like, a, a tarp tent over them and a bunch of fold-out chairs lined up <laughs> haphazardly. Uh, around uh there's an old dude in the very back section furthest away from the screen that is actively snoring mm. <laughs> and then like maybe like a couple of teenagers kissing in like the very front row and that's it <laughs> bless <laughs> no one came to actually watch the movie except maybe ad oh <laughs> Nice. I think Seer focuses almost all of his attention on the kids um, and makes like small talk with Marnie and Twyla and will respond politely if Ad talks to him, but otherwise uh... <laughs> <laughs> No. Ad's probably not gonna talk uh, to like unless like someone talks to her, she's probably not going to talk at all mm -hmm. because, like, one, she's kind of uncomfortable, uh, and two, like, with with Seer, it, it's a whole, like, you think you've got it worse than everyone else, like, you've lost more than anyone else. <laughs> kind of because he a little bit has, but... <laughs> <laughs> To be clear, he only did that because he was mad. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not think now, what he's saying. But, yeah. but now Ad's mad because she's like, I was trying to be fucking nice and help you be okay. Uh-huh. Yep. In just the worst way. <laughs> <laughs> or at least the worst way for Seer specifically. <laughs> but she didn't know that. No, 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 of course not. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, yeah. So I think she's just gonna like stare at the screen mm -hmm. while y'all talk. Mm -hmm. I think at some point Twyla is just like, so what next? Well, I mean, there's the the big lighting ceremony. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In unison, Twyla and Sierra, like, yeah. <laughs> It just, does it not feel weird to anyone else to be surrounded by our worst moments in life? <laughs> or are we just pretending this isn't happening? Sears, like, playing patty cake with the fight. Here. <laughs> Bless! Sears Marty. deserves the world. <laughs> <laughs> Marnie's like, I'm a millennial. I'm used to being surrounded by the worst moments of my life. <laughs> Takes a drag off of, well, she doesn't literally take a drag off the cigarette, but, you know, it's very Ben Affleck uh, <laughs> smoking on a balcony. <laughs> oh I like the idea of her doing that, but it's with a fucking, like, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, that, Yes. Oh, God, should I take XP to put my nose where it doesn't belong? Yes. yes. <laughs> Do it. Uh, I think uh, Twyla, like, motioning around, just like, why are we just so okay with this? Why? Why are we just sitting here enjoying a festival like uh fucking add you lost your magic marnie i don't even remember what happened to you uh, <laughs> basically her entire career and oh yeah marnie you lost a bit of livelihood you could have had mm -hmm. and seer well you know what you lost seer why are we <laughs> just why are we okay with sitting here and enjoying this stupid festival I think uh, I think at that point, Ad's just gonna kind of giggle and be like, "You think the magic is the worst thing that was lost there? <laughs> I can fucking learn to boil pasta without magic. <laughs> I can't right. get the people I lost back. Of course, I'm not fucking okay with this. I'm not trying to have fun. I'm just trying not to go crazy." I wouldn't know a damn thing about that. Looks at all of the loud children around her. <laughs> I'm I... I'm going to take an XP to denote myself an authority on something that I don't know anything about. <laughs> and be like, <laughs> oh my god! Just you know, take the take the lollipop out of my mouth and just be like, listen. The only way that we're going to be able to get through this is to try to focus on the fact that everybody else around us is alive and that we have saved them from a fate worse than whatever the fuck is going on around here. Children. Marnie. Language. <laughs> <laughs> Marnie kind of like deject or like sullenly or no petulantly that's the word i'm looking for petulantly <laughs> like crunches on the lollipop <laughs> the youngest child walks up and starts cussing <laughs> <laughs> the youngest child can't speak yet but definitely one of them oh, wait, that's that's right the next youngest child <laughs> comes up and <laughs> just like like uh sissy what the fuck <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. The way that kids do. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh my god. And Twyla just stares at Marnie like, thanks. Now I'm going to have to explain that to the school. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Teacher Lady, I learned a new word. <laughs> just blame it on Karen talking about the failed the, the failed light fixture over on the corner or something. <laughs> oh, you know the Karens don't curse. <laughs> Hmm. At they... least not at people that don't work in food service. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> also, everyone on the HOA is named Karen. Like, it's a requirement. Yep. You change your name to Karen, and you cut your hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like my mom, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Twyla already drives a soccer mom vehicle and has like a bumper sticker on the back that's like, nope, like <laughs> not a Karen. <laughs> like it has HOA with a big line struck through it. <laughs> I think uh, one of the children is like falling asleep in the grass next to Seer, and Seer like pulls them into his uh, like. Pull, pulls them into his arms in that way that you hold children when you're taking them to bed. Um, and he says, Marnie's not wrong. Uh, and uh, says, these kids have a future now, and that means something. And Twyla, like, ruffles one of their hair. Like, yeah, I guess you're right. And I think whenever Twyla can get a moment alone with Seer, mm -hmm. we'll, like, edge over to him and be like, hey, I know, like, living in that tiny little apartment is, like, your thing and all. <laughs> but the offer still stands, and you know you know I need help around the house, and these kids love you. Could you be my living super <laughs> Basically. Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think... Um, I don't think he answers her right away. I think he... Uh, is basically just like, yeah, I know. Thank you, Twyla. Um, no problem, Sarah. I'll ask you again in a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> couple weeks later. <laughs> I will make you whatever you want for dinner. Uh, <laughs> we'll just fucking move in. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a weird Catholic. Like, he can't be doing it for himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think uh, Twyla probably did, uh, like, get a babysitter for the later part of this. Mm -hmm. So she probably takes the kids home uh, and offers, like, if anyone wants to come as well to, like, get ready before the dance. Yeah. Yeah, Marty will go. So, that might be the end of the dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think, uh, I think Addie probably doesn't go with you guys because she doesn't actually have anything to change into. <laughs> yeah, Sierra isn't actually going to change. <laughs> also, can I add a thing about the babysitter? Uh-huh. Oh, God. <laughs> They're a very old lady. Oh. <laughs> Bless. So, uh, Marnie and Twyla, what are you wearing to this party? The dance? Uh, so I picked out this 80s prom dress. Oh my god. Uh, that I'm going to throw in our chat and then that can make it up on 
screen. But Twyla is also like, she already was like the queen of thrifting before this. So like she rocks it somehow. <laughs> But she's in a an eighties prom dress she got either at the Goodwill or from her parents' closet, like from the mm. motherfucking Goodwill. Oh, uh, what if she just got it out of like her parents' attic and it's like her great, 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 great like aunt <laughs> like aunt's fucking outfit. Yeah, like she found it in the attic and was like, this will do. <laughs> there were moths chewing on this, but somehow it doesn't look like moths were chewing on it. <laughs> yeah, she puts it on and is like, you know what? I can make this work. Hell yeah. Just him that moth chew right up. <laughs> That's why it's so short. <laughs> hmm. I've been thinking about this and I'm trying to decide... Because, like, the the two ways I can see this going is, like, Marnie getting dressed in, like, a gold lame suit mm -hmm. with, like, a black collar and um, a black tie. But I could also see her wearing something, like out of the 80s as well just like a maxi dress that's like covered in like really garish geometric designs and I don't know which I like more so I'm gonna flip for it <laughs> out of the cards All right. you totally could have gone thrifting in the attic with me <laughs> No, no, this is this has to be from Marnie's from Marnie's soul. Um, ah. and it's it's the gold lame suit. Oh good. Um So yeah, gold lame suit still doesn't fit right. Like <laughs> like purposefully at this point, Jesus. <laughs> it it's second hand, like, you know, I I did thrift it. it. It just, I thrifted it earlier, you know? It's, I'm not a tailor. <laughs> it still looks okay. You look great, Marnie. Thanks. And the kids are just like, ooh. <laughs> Shiny. Shiny. <laughs> pretty, pretty, giant, shiny. Yeah. Um, trying to, I'm not having any luck finding, uh, like my my thought process is that, um, the the dress <laughs> since uh, had doesn't actually have a dress she like has like, like she takes some plants to make like an outfit but also like keeps like the roots or whatnot so she can replant them later so they don't die mm. Aww. but I can't find a picture of anything that looks like what I want so I'm sorry, everyone. Use your imaginations. Rub your brain muscles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Seer doesn't change. He's he's still wearing oh. a jacket and like. The equivalent of jeans. Uh. <laughs> Twyla tries to put a tie on you. <laughs> Jesus. He'll, yeah, he'll take a tie if she has one, but he he doesn't own one. Yeah, it's like a paisley tie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll, it doesn't he'll... match anything you're wearing. Of course not. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. So. Who dances with whom? Uh, 
uh, well, we have to have that tense moment at some point of you dancing with the ad, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What if it's like kind of like a like not necessarily a ballroom esque dance where like you trade off partners. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, it's it it is the trading off partners part. It's just not like that frou frou y kind of dance. Yeah. Uh, music that you're used yeah. to that with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of like uh, like the the dances in Pride and Prejudice and stuff. Uh -oh. Um, I haven't actually seen that, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, just dances where you like. It, it's basically line dancing, um, but you you move down the line of partners, um, mm -hmm. and uh, just just so that you're switching partners every time. Yeah, I dig that. I, I like that. Any objections? No, None I here. like that. So, let's, let's go ahead and do, uh, Seer and Ad, um, like, they were both maybe dancing with strangers, but c they come up <laughs> to each other in the line next, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, Seer is super polite. Um, and bas basically he's dancing with you like, like he just danced with that stranger that he doesn't know at all. Um. Mm. <laughs> wow. Uh, just in a, in a kind of, um, formal, that's the word I'm looking for, formal way. Mm. Um, uh. And let's see. I think he, I think I'm going to use my, one of my moves, be aware of where the community is overstretched. Um, and he's going to attempt to extend an olive branch. Uh, by saying, um, you know the uh, the the cooks at the bar have been telling me that the harvest this year was a little lackluster. Um, sounds like they're looking for some new providers. Sorry, this is just me thinking of howling. How to respond is the long silence. This isn't like... So you're like, leads you about in a little turn. <laughs> uh... I don't know if I'm ready to be around people that much, or even if they really want me to be around that much either. Well, benefit of something like this is it's kind of just dipping your toes in the water, because you know you start with one bar, just kind of negotiating contracts and dropping off things when you need it. You can work up to the other stuff. Yeah. Yes, I haven't really tried to branch out into much outside of medicinal and just for 
viewing pleasure. Maybe it could be a good experience. But I'm ch <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and he, he says, uh, your plants are the healthiest in this region. And take really good care of them. And I think that people would appreciate that. This is the hardest thing that I've ever done. And he kind of like gestures at everything. <laughs> uh, I don't really know how to be a person anymore. But sitting and being miserable and drinking myself to death wasn't uh, doing anyone any favors either. Yeah. I mean, you'd ever like a plant pal. <laughs> uh... <laughs> That I, I mean, I guess I haven't really necessarily coped the best either, but sometimes having something to take care of and look forward to seeing every day makes it a little bit better. <clears throat> he, uh, He he nods uh, and says, "Do you have any child-friendly ones, or ones that can handle a little bit of rough handling? Because I think I might be taking Twyla up on her offer soon." Okay. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, don't let don't... them eat this one. It's toxic to cats. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't hold me to this one, uh, too much, because I've also killed one before. Uh, but, uh, usually the non-spiky succulents are pretty forgiving all around. Um, mm -hmm. also, if you, if you would like it, um, I have 41 elephant ear plants, and I don't <laughs> like uneven numbers. Would you, would you like an elephant ear plant? Oh my god. Uh, and I think he laughs a bit and says, I would love an elephant ear plant. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> so this is Marvin. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you meant right now. <laughs> I'm carrying this for the rest of the day. <laughs> Yes, I carry an elephant ear around because I really don't like uneven numbers. <laughs> I have problems here. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Please give Marvin a good home. <laughs> he, he gently takes the plant from you and is like, uh, of course, of course I will. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Marvin is very young. He barely even burned yet. So... Uh, just make sure you keep him watered, and he really likes, uh, trying to think of an off-brand for Miracle Grow. <laughs> uh, fucking, uh, he loves, uh, Magic Boost. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and also, uh, if you sing to him, uh, he, he tends to look a little bit better. 
<laughs> Seer calls out like a falcon and the plant withers. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Come my life in two pieces. <laughs> Oh, God. Good. I think I think the the dance takes us away from each other. Um, I think I think we leave closer than we were. <laughs> Yay! Everything's mended. We don't have to be assholes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do Twyla and Marnie dance? They've got to, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think instead of, like, whereas the line took uh, y'all together randomly, I feel like Twyla would have sought Marnie out when they're like, get partners! And mm. Twyla's like, oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so has been dancing with you this whole time, if that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's fine. Um, I think Marnie hey. still looks a little petulant, but like she begrudgingly says, "Sorry, I snapped at you earlier." Look, it's not like anything is easy right now. <sighs> I mean, yeah, but. I feel like it beats the alternative. At least that's what I gotta tell myself. I don't know. I liked the alternative. I was really good at being an archivist. I was really good at my job, too. You were. But. I mean, it beats the whole, like, AI overlord thing. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly does. And like smiles fondly off into nowhere, just like like secretly I like all these kids. <laughs> Don't let them know though. <laughs> I have a hard enough time making them just, you know, eat their vegetables and Shit. If they knew I liked them, they'd milk that for all it's worth. I'm allergic <laughs> to children. Yeah. I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Hoys! <laughs> Look, you you just you don't have to hold it at arm's length. It, it's fine. It's not gonna bite you most of the time. Most of the time. There's a non-zero chance! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess for any creature with a mouth, there's a non-zero chance, but it's weird because it's a baby. <laughs> it's fair. They are weird little creatures. <laughs> what's your... What's your plan? Try to get a promotion, I guess, although... I'm not sure if that's going to be in the cards, but, you know, maybe one day I'll be able to at least get out of the shitty apartment with five other roommates. Oh god, do I just open a fucking commune? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not here to tell you what, you what to do with your house, but also, I said I want to get away from five other roommates, not move in with... <laughs> That's you fair. And Seer and four small roommates. <laughs> who have fair. no who have no concept of volume modulation. <laughs> or boundaries. I went to the shift twi. No. That's fair. Uh I mean, it was all in there at one point. We just gotta We gotta find a way to get back there, right? Like we can get back there. The silence is in character. Yeah, I don't think Twyla has ever given up.
Marnie finally says, the only way we can go is forward. I'm not doing the time magic thing again. No, I don't think Twyla means, like... No, I don't think Marnie think Marnie's not speaking literally. Like, what Twyla means is, like, there has to be a way for us to move, like, in the future, end up in these same places. Yeah, no, Marnie's just saying, like, and I, I, I don't know if, if Twyla necessarily picks, is picking up on it, but, like, Marnie's just saying, like, there's no way to go back, the only way we can go is forward, and Marnie doesn't think there's any way to get back to where we were. Yeah, that's fair. Um. Oh my gosh, are we going to leave this feeling farther apart? I think we might leave this feeling farther apart. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What you say? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Amber. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, yeah, I think we might leave it feeling more distant. Yeah. And Twyla slightly more defeated. Yeah. I'm sorry. I had a, I had a thing I wanted to add earlier, but I guess it'd be fine to add it now. Hmm. Uh, uh, when you were talking about the kids, uh, like a pan over to the children. <laughs> All running around screaming. One of them is actually like pouring a little a literal bag of sugar into their mouth. <laughs> uh, and in the center of the room is the very old lady babysitter. Uh, she's tied to a, a rolly spinny chair. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and, she, and she's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> she just gave up. <laughs> she wasn't awake. She doesn't even know she's tied up right now. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I'm glad Seer will be moving in to take care of them. <laughs> <laughs> Can't keep paying for this kind of help that you just fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long 92 years for Mrs. C Mac, okay? Was this one Bruce when I gave it to you? <laughs> Holding oh child up by leg. <laughs> <laughs> Adjust bifocals. Well, <laughs> God damn it. I mean, it looks pretty old. <laughs> Fucking great. <laughs> I, I'm an expert on those uncovers arm with different stages of Bruce thing. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm basically like a banana at this point. Oh my god. Anyways. <laughs> who else wants to dance? <laughs> While this lady like, falls apart. <laughs> place to end it, I think. Honestly. Uh -huh. I think that might be a good place to end it. Yeah. Yeah. That's I like fair. all of that. <laughs> like all of this was beautiful. <laughs> They're they're broken, but they're healing. Yeah. <laughs> I feel slightly less sad about all of them. <laughs> slightly. <laughs> I think, if nothing else, Twyla is going to grad school and is going to become a real archivist. <laughs> <laughs> Good for gonna her. Go to, now that Seer is helping out around the house, Twyla can actually, like, study. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You go study. I got your flower. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. I just see like fucking Seer in like like I'm thinking like jeans and mm -hmm. like like work boots with like a button up shirt that's like it's long sleeve uh, but it's like rolled up to like 
kind of like above the elbow on like a person like a human person (laughs) and then a very cutesy uh like one of those like over exaggerated pink like with the lace around it fucking uh aprons Mm -hmm. (laughs) cooking the kids like fucking scrambled eggs for breakfast Mm -hmm. (laughs) it's like sir you remembered to sneak some broccoli in there right oh yeah (laughs) <laughs> there's so many vegetables in this <laughs> there's hardly even eggs there's <laughs> less than you think in here oh my god <laughs> and, um, that, that's that <laughs> we come full circle here. oh my god <laughs> alright we did it we saved the world and are coming closer to saving ourselves. Yep. Yep. Good. Yeah. Good shit. Think, These are I good think they're games. They're doing okay. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for the redemption, Philo. <laughs> good redemption arc. <laughs> True. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Do we want to do outros? <laughs> Probably. Maybe first. <laughs> are, are you um, okay, Amber? <laughs> yeah, she's searching the information so that she can do her outro. How about I'm we in- do them in reverse? <laughs> I'm fine now. I can go in literally any order now, and I'm still going to fuck it up, but at least I'm where I need to be. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Well, well, do we'll, we'll do it in reverse order. So Okay. So, I've been August. You can find me on Twitter at HarpyDora. You can find the podcast I'm on it on Twitter at FTLcast, at DKPH bo- DKPH Pod and at Gay Space Pod because I talk into microphones way too much. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, baby. I love you. Love you, dear. <laughs> Anya. Oh, I didn't realize that was backwards. Yeah, we were going in reverse. Uh, hey been Anya. Still Anya. Less sad Anya. Uh, find me playing Sad Boy Jude on DKPH and uh, Robot who is figuring out what emotions are on uh, Rumor Pod. <laughs> I have been Danielle. You can continue to find me on the internet at redtailedhawk90. Come yell at me for being really mean to Seer. Mm. Uh, you, you can also find me on DKPH Pod or on Rumor Pod uh, or on the Escaville Files because, like August, I am on many podcasts. Uh, Oh wait, it's my turn now. I oh, was God. like, I was like, oh wait, Anya's already gone, and August went first, and Danielle went. So by process <laughs> of elimination, that means me next. But then also, my brain was like, let's sit here and stare into the abyss. Uh, panic. <laughs> uh, panic. That's my normal state. Yay, anxiety. Anyways, I have been Amber, uh, with the she/her pronouns. Your lovely local cryptid. Uh, you can catch me also on the room where Pod, uh, playing D, <laughs> another disaster child. Mm-hmm. Uh, or you can catch me on Hope's Hearth, uh, the a joyful. Hope Punk Sci-Fi Fantasy Actual Play Podcast on Hope's Hearth Pod. Ugh, I did it! <laughs> Everyone praise me with cookies. You Yay! did it! You already had cookies. And I want more. <laughs> <laughs> that couple was really nice. I want more chocolate cookies. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everyone. Yeah. Bring me chocolate cookies. <laughs> Good, good night, y'all. Good night. Good night. Jesus Christ, Philo. <laughs> <laughs> now with less meat. Yep. <laughs>